Today I want to talk about this question. How do you raise your vibration? Okay. So I'm pretty sure if you're on your spiritual path and you already have an idea that you can raise your vibrations in a multiple, in multiple different ways. Some shit works better, better for you than it would for another person. There's plenty of different resources, plenty of different practices, tools, meditations, ideas, or ideologies that you can use to help you vibrate higher. Everything from crystals, which are really not my thing. I've dealt with them before, but that's not really my thing. Everything from crystals to motherfucking guided meditations, to priming, to chanting, taking walks into nature, sun gazing, candle gazing, sacred geometry. What else? Other things that can elevate your consciousness or raise your vibrations is eating better, eating healthier. There's certain foods that help you raise your vibrations. And I'ma tell you, McDonald's is not on the list. Chick-fil-A is not on the list, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I've been fast food free for probably going on three weeks to a month now. Three weeks to a month now. I've been fast food free. And I feel a difference in my body. I feel like I'm taking care of my body even more. I don't know, you feel a sense of pride when you take care of your body as far as what you put in there, as far as you working out, that's another thing that can raise your vibration. You just gotta start taking care of yourself. But I feel like even more important than the body, well, I don't even wanna say that because the, like taking care of your physical health, working out and shit, that can actually do wonders for your mind as well. So I don't wanna say the body, but I'ma just say, get your mind right first and foremost, guys. Get your mind right. Cause I don't care if you have the cleanest diet ever and you never go to fast food places, you never eat Chick-fil-A, Taco Bell, McDonald's, and you eat just the best of foods and foods that are supposed to raise your vibration so much. If your mind is not right, all of that shit is done in vain. It does not matter. Just like if your mind is right and you eat fast food, I'm not saying eat that shit every day, but if you do indulge in, I guess, lower vibrational foods and behaviors, if your mind is right, it's not gonna have that much effect, of you, uh, effect on you. And matter of fact, if your mind is right, you're going to be drawn to start eating healthier anyway, taking more care of your body, physical fitness, physical health, mental health. All of those things are gonna kind of come if your mind is right, whereas, if you're just eating, you know, foods like kiwis and fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, quinoa, stuff like that, dates to raise your vibrations, but you still have a lot of mental shit going on, the foods is not going to compensate for a lack of mental strength. So before anything, I advise you to work on your mental. Whatever that looks like for you, shadow work, the shit is tough, okay? But it must be done. If you have traumas and suppressed emotions that you haven't dealt with, you gotta go there. I'm still going there. I'm still working through my fundamental darkness, guys. Suppressed emotions, traumas that I'm working through. This is a, I wanna say a horrible experience. It feels horrible to have to go back and relive shit. But it must be done. You have to do the work. Just like you can't get the perfect body overnight, you must do the work. And the work consists of continuous, consistent effort over a set amount of time, okay? And the way that you know that you're on the right path to success in anything is if you stop keeping score. If you're still asking, well, how long is it gonna take me to get this body? Or how long is it gonna take me to get a six pack? Or how long is it gonna take me to get to a million subscribers or how long is it gonna take me to get that perfect wife? If you're still asking how long something is gonna take, you're not ready to receive it yet. When you're able to say, I made a decision, I'm gonna get this, and I don't care how long it takes, I'm committed to getting this by any means necessary, that's when you will get it and not a moment before then. So let that be a lesson. I forgot what this fucking video was about, guys. This video is about raising your vibration, okay? How do you raise your vibration? Yes, 
That's how you do it. There's multiple ways you can do it, guys. You got to start somewhere. Maybe a guided meditation. Maybe just sitting with your thoughts. <sighs> breathing in, breathing out for maybe two minutes. It's very hard for a lot of people to sit the fuck still and not do anything, especially with this thing. Cellular device nowadays. They're training us to only be able to have an attention span of a fucking ant. 15 second videos, 10 second videos. And we can't even sit down and watch a video that's an hour long that is packed with quality ass content anymore. We can't even focus for that long because this is training us not to. You have to work on your mental. Why? Because you're the only one who can do it. I can want you to succeed so badly, but can't nobody want it for you. There's not enough want or desire that I can give you that'll elevate you. Of course you can inspire others. You can try to motivate others. You can try to give somebody, you know, positive words of encouragement or give them some, some advice on something. But at the end of the day, it is your responsibility. It's up to you. Stop looking for a fucking savior. The only person who can genuinely save you is yourself. The only person who can genuinely reject you and make you feel like shit is yourself. It all starts in your mind. It all starts with you. It all starts with from within. It all starts with your thoughts. Yeah, a motherfucker might tell you that you ain't shit, but do you believe it? Because if you do, you're rejecting yourself. That person didn't reject you. Because if that same person told you that you ain't shit, but you questioned it and you were like, am I really not shit? Actually, I'm pretty fucking cool. You take your power back, you move the fuck on and you're good. But you can't do that if your mental is not right. I've been in places to where it's like, man, whatever somebody said about me, I feel like, damn, they're right. You know, <laughs> they're right. And that just means my mental wasn't strong enough to say or question. First of all, who is the source? Where is this information coming from? And for two, is this really true? You know, sometimes we need to stop and question. And if you're not strong enough, you're going to take on what other people say as it is the truth. When you could have easily questioned it and chose to disempower that person by not buying into it, buy into your own beliefs, buy into your own values, buy into your own opinion of yourself. Because if you don't know who you are, there's plenty of people who don't mind trying to tell you who you are. Have never walked down your shoes but they won't mind telling you who you are. Ain't that crazy? So do yourself a favor and know yourself so you can make the judgments. Your opinion of yourself can hold weight. All right, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. More lit videos coming soon, more spiritual videos coming soon. Make sure that you shoot me a DM. Let me know a question. Please make it brief if you can. Give me a general question and not a two part essay. I'll do my best to answer. And yeah, I love you guys so much. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Peace, and we out, baby.